Never. Yeah, should get to at least 101. If I do all of the pop up games, the three remaining ones. And pajama sand games. Yo, King Warlock with the three month resub. Thank you, my okay, man. Okay, Pep, okay. So loud. Why are you Ready, so loud, Pep? Putt -putt? Catch! Special delivery, <laughs> Putt Putt! Wowie, zowie! Oh boy, it's from Redline Rick. It says I'm invited to join the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity! Well, I hate to run, uh, but I got more mail to um deliver. I'll be talking to you later, Putt Putt. Hey, Pep, come on, pal. Off we go. Hey, it's a possum. He sure is a funny looking little guy. <laughs> oh, that scared him. I guess he's playing possum. Oh. Okay, Pep, give it a try. He's gonna eat him. Good boy, Pep. Gosh, I sure hope we didn't scare that little guy too much. Well, don't worry, doing, man. You're awesome. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy the uh, cabbage emotes again. Unlocking that new Twitch badge. Here I come. The speedway. Oh yeah. Well, if it isn't my little buddy Putt Putt, are you here to sign on up for the Big Car Town 500 race? You bet, Redline Rick. Pep and I have been waiting all year. Well, Whoa. Putt Putt, if you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the Dickens, and always keep safety first. So, you might have to get some things. I know. I can get whatever I need in Car Town. Well, here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. You'll need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super speed radio racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number 8 on it. That's your official number. Thanks, Redline Rick. I can't wait. I better get busy. I have a lot of gear to get before the big race. All right, to the town. Hey, it's the same layout, that's cool. Push shop, yo, free batteries, give me those. It says free, those batteries must be free. Great, these might come in handy. If it isn't my favorite customer, Butt Butt. Hi, Mrs. Widget. I wanted to thank you for the free batteries. Oh, you're welcome. That's what they're there for. I'm trying out all the new toys in the stock room. Oh, want to make sure they work just right. Have fun. Oh, I always do. Pots and gas for cars like drugs for humans. Uh, maybe. Car Town Color. Whoa, it would be great to get a new paint job. Whoa, it's an empty bottle. That doesn't belong there. I think I'll recycle it. It's gonna break it and stab somebody with it. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, what can I do for you today? I just stopped by to say hi, Smokey. It's always nice to have you visit. Thanks, Chief. What a tall ladder! I bet that ladder could reach really high places. Well, I'm gonna need that for something. If I had to imagine. It's the Car Town Wash. An empty bottle? This doesn't belong here. I should recycle it. He does sound a little different, though. It's Cartown Gas. This 
bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It should be recycled. Nice. It's extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. That's just what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! Bye -bye. Yep. Wow, this is extra oh, he's shaking. Powered. These people are shaking. It's the racing form I got from Redline Rick. I still need to find some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Uh, I might need to... It says air. <laughs> it says water. So fast. Look at him move. That extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline doesn't last very long. Okay, yeah, so I need some of it container. with me to the race so I can use it there. Good morning, a putt putt. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. I'm getting ready to race in the Car Town 500. Oh, that is so exciting. You let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. I will. Hey, a putt putt. I'm getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and pick me up some more, huh? Sure. What do you need, Mr. Baldini? Well, uh, let me see. I need a one of orange, one of zucchini, and a one of head of lettuce. Okay, I can get that. Excellent. You bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two of coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I could use some coins, Mr. Baldini. Great. Uh, well, a good -a luck. Oh. Hey, it's Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Putt Putt, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck, Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a triangle. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. Never coming back. Just gonna leave him there. Oh, it's a zoo guy. Hi, Outback Al. Well, yeah, out back out. Putt -putt. Long time no see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a yak. A baby one, if you can believe that. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't see batteries alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you, Outback Al. Jackaroo, you're on. Is that a racing flag? It sure is, Putt Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Gee, thanks. But first, I'll bring you some food for your what? baby yak. He looks hungry. You said I could take it. What? <laughs> okay. Putt Putt, just, just take the flag, man. Making this way too hard on yourself. You can deal with the baby hack later. Hi, Mr. Fender Bender. Well, if it isn't Pit Pit, this has been a heck of a day. Just call me Pit Pit. Also, my cat charged up my chi. I mean, charged up my tree, and he can't get down. At least he's got his safety helmet on. It's too high to reach, but maybe I can find something I can use to get him down for you, Mr. Fender Bender. That's a crackerjack idea, son. Alright, so we're gonna have to use the ladder. Go back for that in a little bit. Those look like racing flag numbers. Those are the library safety scissors. I can use them to cut out shapes, but I don't have anything I want to cut now. Hey, odd animals of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. Why? Babies drink the milk they need. Y is for yak. In Asia lives the great wild yak, who has a hairy head and a hairy back. The parents graze on grass and leaves, and babies drink the milk they need. Milk, that's what Outback Al needs for his baby yak. I should definitely go find some for him so he can feed the little fella. You think you can milk a car? Oh, 
Oh, Mrs. Airbag. Pot Pot, hello. Hi, Mrs. Airbag. How are you doing today? I'm afraid not very well. Ralphie buried Mr. Airbag's new hubcaps in the backyard. Mr. Airbag's not going to be too pleased about that, I can assure you. Maybe I can help you dig them up, Mrs. Airbag. Oh, Pot Pot, that would be wonderful. Great. Now all I have to do is find a shovel, and I'll be back. Thank you so much, Pot Pot. Wow, okay. Oh, no, that shed is on fire. What should I do? I'll bet I can use that phone to get help. Nine, one, one. This is 911. Please do not hang up until I tell you to. First, what is the problem? There's a fire. And what is your name? Putt Putt. And what's the address of the fire, Putt Putt? It's the old shed out on Valley Road. Okay, Putt Putt. Smokey's on his way. You may hang up the phone now. Okay. He's here. Wow, that was fast. Thanks for calling 911, Putt Putt. Now stay over here where you're safe, and I'll put this fire out. Nice. We saved the day. Mission accomplished. And now, Putt Putt, I believe you've earned a special reward. A badge. Your junior fire marshal badge, because you alerted me to an emergency. Wow, thanks, Smokey. Go, Benedict. Believe me, dictator. you earned so, it, Pot-Pot. Enjoy. I hope to see you around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to head back to the station. Bye, Smokey. Move it, move it, it's a one-lane tunnel. Whoa! Careful, one-lane road. Nailers wanted. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can say that. on the ground. Would you mind if I picked it up and took it to the recycling center? Are you kidding? Go on and take it. Great, thanks. Excuse me, Betsy Bulldozer. I was wondering if I could borrow your shovel. I need to help Mrs. Airbag, and it would sure come in handy. Ah, oh, you know I'd like to, but I got a heap of work ahead of me today. Only time I ever take a break is to suck down a big old fat milkshake. Of course, I forgot it today, so I'll be missing my break. I have a great idea, Betsy. If I bring you a milkshake, then you could take a milkshake break, and maybe then I could borrow your shovel. But I'm liking it. You're on. And make sure it's a really big one. Okay. Uh, go back. Excuse me, Smokey. Is it okay with you if I borrow your ladder now? Of course, Pot Pot. After all, you've earned your junior fire marshal badge. Thanks, Woo. Smokey. I'll be sure to return it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, where's the tire shop? The tires over here. Nope.
so sad. I have a ladder, Mr. Fenderbender. Maybe I can help get him down. Don't let me stop you, son. I mean, stop you, son. Go for it. Here, Bunzo. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. My dings and dents, you did it! Now let's take this helmet off you once and for all, Bonzo. Bonzo won't climb trees if he doesn't have a helmet on. I think I'll just get rid of it. If you don't want it, Mr. Fender Bender, I wouldn't mind having it. I need a helmet for Pep. Seems long enough. Not really. My this games are like 30 means. minutes I mean, to an hour. By all means, you take it, son. I'd be bonkers to let Bonzo wear that thing again. Thanks, Mr. Fender Bender. I'm going to the store to get some kitty bits. I'll drop off the ladder at the fire station for you, Pet Pet. Nice. Okay. Nobody was in that shed when it was burning. They could have been hurt. It's a picture of a horn. Hmm. Nice. What was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. <laughs> it's a person. It's a flashlight! Hey, Pot, but you want that old thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torble? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks! Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. Hey, I bet the batteries I got at the toy store will fit in this. Perfect! Like the little tree that's known as broccoli, all steamed up on a plate, a vegetable so great. Cover it with cheese or eat it all alone. There always should be broccoli in each and every home. Nice. I wonder where I can find the fruits and vegetables Mr. Baldini asked for. I'll have to get closer if I want to pick that. A head of lettuce. I've got to get some for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. What else do you want? Zucchini. The carrot? Is that what you want it? An orange. Okay. Hey, it's a zucchini. I've got to get one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick. I know it was orange in color. I didn't remember if it was an orange or a, a carrot. this way too I can't pick anything right there what pop up please what well, there's anything hidden in here you go the wrong way I got an item Hmm, I 
can't drive straight there. Well, not off that attitude. Okay, well, if there is, then I, I don't know. I'm not... I can go through all this to see. I found all the things Mr. Baldini wanted. Good for you, Puppet. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. It's a hook. That's a dangerous thing to have in the road. I better pick it up. Where's the body at, Putt Putt? Where'd you put it? But you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me and I'll get these pipes moved? Get it, hook it back on him. <laughs> Thanks, Putt Putt. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. <gasps> All clear. Thanks again, Putt Putt. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. Yo, ice cream. I'll have a giant jumbo milk. Is that Rover? Is Rover? Best and biggest in car town, Papa. Is Rover. Coming right up. Nice. There you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon. It's free to you, Putt Putt. Always. Gee, Rover, that's really nice. Betsy will like this. Hey, Rover, do you mind if I take this bottle for recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. Yo, we're getting all the bottles. Wow, a bottle! I should recycle this. Great! It's a tire patch kit. Chuck said I could take one so I can help him patch his tire. Now, all I have to do is go find some scissors so I can cut it out. need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Money! Great! I got a coin! This recycling machine sure is neat! I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. So it's my antenna, yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. Wow, I earned a coin. This recycling machine sure is neat. Maybe if I look around, I can find some more bottles to recycle. Hi, Mr. Crankcase. Well, bust my bumper, it isn't putt putt. Here, look at all the junk, eh? Mm hmm. I guess so. There sure is a lot of it. Yeah, isn't it great? Excuse me, Mr. Crankcase. This sure is an awfully big mess. Whew. You're telling me. 
accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. Have to warn you, though. There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase, I'll remember that. What? Uh, can go anywhere. Doesn't fit in there. Well, it's all done. That sure was a lot of fun, Mr. Crankcase. Thanks for letting me help. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Crankcase. Yay, we did it. Ooh, hoo. By we did it, I mean a waste of time. <laughs> Give her the milkshake. Here you go, Betsy. One giant jumbo milkshake. Thanks a bunch. Almost okay, was almost at a trash can. Like taking a break and drinking a giant jumbo milkshake. Say, I was wondering, Betsy, since you're on your break, would you mind if I borrowed your shovel? I need it to help out Mrs. Airbag. You go right ahead, Putt Putt. I won't be able to do any work during my milkshake break. Just make sure you return it as soon as you're done so I can get back to work. Okay, Betsy Bulldozer, I will. Thanks. I need to cut this tire patch kit for Chuck. Now, which shape did Chuck need his tire patch kit cut into? I think I'll start over with a new sheet. Oh, there we That's go. That's the triangle. Cut a triangle. Now I can help Chuck fix his flat tire. Nice, right inside the lines. <laughs> crave noodles? I don't know what I crave for food. Ta da! Here's a shovel! Now I can go dig up Mr. Airbag's four hubcaps. Wonderful. All you have to do is head around to the backyard. Ralphie will show you the way. Oh, nice. Could be anywhere. I don't see anything here. Oh, it probably barks when you get closer to it. Nope, not here. Joku. Wow, I found a hubcap. Mrs. Airbag will be happy about that. Probably not about the four holes in her backyard, but Is there more I can find. Hey! 
nailing it. Dog's not barking anymore. Well, Mrs. Airbag, I found two of the hubcaps. We need four. Halfway there, Putt Putt. Just two more to go. Yep, I just have to go back and keep on digging. Anything here? Maybe you missed so many times it starts barking. Nope, not here. Nope, it broke. Oh boy! Oh boy! That hole is empty. Oh well. Oh, we found one. Oh boy, I found another one. Just digging by the dog. Hey, we found it. Hot ziggity, would you look at this? A hubcap, some ancient treasure. What? And an old gas can. I can't what? wait to tell Mrs. Airbag. Mrs. Airbag, guess what? I found the rest of the hubcaps, precious ancient treasures, and an old gas can. No, that's if he digs oh, more than my. once. It means Rusty you got something. I've been busy. Thank you so much, Putt Putt. Mr. Airbag will be so happy. You can keep the gas can, Putt Putt. You earned it. Gee, thanks. Want the treasure? Man, I ripped well, I off. I better return the shovel to Betsy. Don't you worry about that, Putt Putt. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Mrs. Airbag. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit cut into a triangle. Why, Putt Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap that thing on me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes. Nice. Good as new. Thanks Wheel you. nice. Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt-Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. $20 billion. Give him his crops back. Here you go, Mr. Baldini. Thank you, Putt Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. Yeah, I think I'm good on that. Extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline. Fill her up. That face, though. Great. I've got enough for the race. Uh, still don't know how to do... The whole yak thing. <laughs> I didn't get milk for him. Hey, another bottle. Well, if it isn't my little buddy again. <laughs> Glad you stopped by. It's good to see you again too, Chuck. That tire patch you cut fit me like a dream, Putt Putt. Good as new. 
have to say you turned my day around, buddy. I was happy to help, Chuck. Chuck, I was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market. And am I ever gonna make you a deal since you helped me out today? Gee, thanks, Chuck. How much are they? Normally, they're two coins a piece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. That's a savings of four whole coins. I've got four coins. Well, how about that? Nice. Hand them over, little buddy, and you got yourself a brand new set of tires. I'm not sure that will work. Here you go, Chuck. Four coins. Thank you kindly, Putt-Putt. Now I'm going to have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't going to hurt. Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt-Putt, you just bought yourself some primo, top-of-the-line, super-speedy radio racing tires. Nice. Would you like me to put them on you now, or would you like to wait until race time? I don't want to race around Car Town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. Then he ripped you off? Probably. Hey, it's a bottle. Do you mind if I recycle this, Chuck? Of course not, little buddy. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. Let's go get a milkshake. Oh, wait, there's milk here. I'll have a carton of nice. milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt Putt. Coming right up. Easy. There you go. I sure do love milk. I think I'll hold on to this. Well, right, should be about done then. You go over here. Hi again. Here's a bottle now. Hey, Bottles are just used to coins. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. Oh, and did you need that old racing flag for something? I sure do, for the Car Town 500. It's all yours, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Outback Al. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't mention it. You help me out, I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. We're well, friends? Great. Now I just need to put my official racing number on it. Alright, back to the library. We're all done. Look at all the numbers! Redline Rick told me I need to have my official number on my racing flag. Let's see, I think he said I need an eight. That's an eight. That's the number I need for my flag. Nice. Hey, this is great! I did everything I needed to do to enter the Car Town 500. Hot ziggity, I'm ready to race. Oh uh, yeah. I got all the things I need for the race. That's great, Putt Putt. Just in time. You go on over to the garage, then them boys get y'all fixed up. Real race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. Time to lose the race. Now that's car racing. ready to race is something that's really ready to race. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. Contest them. Start your engines. On your marks. Get set. Go! What? Oh, it's me driving. Oh, oh we gotta win the race. It's spinning out.
How am I supposed to speed up? I'm so slow. There's no way I can win. Kidding me? Get out of my way. You're so far behind. I'm catching up. Go on the outside. Oh, you stopped me. We're gonna, we're gonna lap that guy. So many cars in the way. Get out of the way. This is dangerous conditions. Whoa. And just bumping the people like that. Problems the cars just get in the, in the way. You can't get past them. Like you're you're a lap behind me, man. You can't be blocking my path. Pretty sure it's legal. Wowie, zowie, that was great. As I always say, it's not if you win or lose. It's how you race around the track. And you raced around the track real nice. Good job out there, Putt Putt. Thanks, Redline Rick. So what do you say? You want to go again? No. I think I've raced enough for today. Well, Putt Putt, on behalf of the Car Town 500, it gives me great pleasure to give to you this here ribbon for being a good sport and a great racer. Participation ribbon. Wow. I don't want that. Thanks a lot. I'd like to thank everyone in Cartown for helping me get all the things I needed. And Smokey, thanks for putting out that big fire. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track. No, it's about winning.